This is an original New Holland hit and miss engine. Uh, this is the uh, machine that put New Holland on the map uh, way back in the very early 1900s. Uh, these were the kind of engines where the primary power source on farms back then. So whether they were using to run a washing machine, a, a corn grinder, and this is a New Holland corn grinder uh, here that is still functional. The hit and miss engine was the core uh, power source for the farm. One of the um, points on these hit and miss engines is that you had a water jacket. Um, the water, of course, would provide for cooling of the combustion chamber, but everybody else's engine had a tank on the top. And of course, if you forgot to drain the water and it happened to freeze that night, you would bust your engine. So it would just ruin the engine or it would take major repair to fix it. So the New Holland Machine Company came up with the idea of using a tapered water jacket and patented uh, that. So on this um, engine, if I just leave the water in there and it freezes, the ice is going to raise up because it's not trapped with the vertical or even enclosed walls. Next morning you start the engine back up, the heat starts up, it melts the ice, you're back to water and everybody's happy. So I got this engine from a retired dealer um, who, uh, because of age, was having to move to town and he um, had known him for a long time. He wanted me to have this engine, so he made me a deal I couldn't refuse. But the engine didn't run, so I um, took the magneto off. It was broken and found a company that would make a couple of special parts for me and uh, did a couple other things. Got the gas tank cleaned out and everything, and it had good compression. And uh, lo and behold, um, uh, it, it uh, starts up and runs really well and I'll show you how that works. So this is the choke uh, right here. So I just put a choke on for one compression stroke. So that's the compression stroke. There it goes. certain RPM, when it fires, it goes faster, the governor cuts out the intake valve so it can't fire again until it slows down for us, like an increase in speed. Or I can slow it down depending on what job I have for the engine to do. This is the magneto that creates the spark as it fires the cylinder. And that's how you turn it off. Just put the throttle on zero and you can't run the intake valve and it's going to coast to a stop. have oil leak below it. This is the oiler that um, if you're going to run the engine any amount of time you need to raise it up so that it drops oil in there. There are grease caps on here. There's no such thing as force lubrication. There's an oil port on the crank uh, shaft where the connecting rod uh, hooks up. Um, this oiler takes care of the piston and the sleeve and we're a very simple very durable machine but this is what got New Holland going way back in the early 1900s, long before the square baler ever came along. Does that have an oil leak on the bottom, it looks like? So there's a oil leak on the bottom. That's because there's no capture for the oil that comes out of here. It goes down to the piston and lubricates the piston, but once it gets done there, it drifts down, and that's just how the technology was.